Hey, so multitasking on the iPad has always been convoluted to say the least. Yeah, but with iPadOS 15, it's evolving a bit to be more explicit and slightly more powerful. And I'm not even sure if it's the right way forward, but here's how multitasking works with iPadOS 15. Okay, so on the iPad, what's new is inside every app, you'll see these three dots up top. This is the multitasking menu. Tap on it and you get three options. A full screen mode if you want the app to take up the whole screen. Split view if you want to open another app side by side with this one. And slide over if you want to open another app full screen but also want this app over it. Now whenever you tap on split view or slide over, the app moves over to the side and reveals the home screen. So you can go and select any app from the home screen or the library. Before you had to have the app in the dock to open it in split view. This is kind of an improvement I guess but it's still quite a process but you can use gestures to kind of speed it up like just swipe down at the menu to enter split view and when you are in split view swipe down at the app you want to replace with another one there's also a fourth option for some apps like notes messages and mail to open a new window in the center yeah it's useful if you want to view the whole thing without leaving the current view and when you're done you can just close it drag it over to split view or swipe down at the menu to put it in the shelf which is another new feature in iPadOS 15. So whenever you open an app for which you have multiple windows open, you'll see this shelf at the bottom with a preview of all your open windows. You can just tap at the one you want to use or it'll go away once you start using the app. This makes it really effortless to switch between multiple windows because you know when you have multiple windows open, it kind of always opens with the wrong one. Now to bring up the shelf later, just tap at the multitasking menu, the three dots at the top. You can also open a new window from here or drag one out to open in split view or even swipe up to close any of them. All this becomes even more powerful when you are in split view and you want to open another window. Just tap at the menu up top and switch between multiple windows. This I think is the most useful addition because before it was a nightmare to switch between multiple windows and forget about doing it in split view. This makes it quick and easy to switch to the window you want. Okay, I've also noticed some updates to how slide over works with iPadOS 15. First, you can now swipe up from the home bar to dismiss the slide over window and you can now hide them to both the left and the right side. And lastly, slide over apps now show up in the app switcher, which has also got some updates of its own. The big one is now you can create app groups directly from here. Just drag one app onto the other to create one. You can also swipe up to close them out individually or break them up by dragging one out. This makes everything so much more simpler and honestly, this should have been there from the start. And you get this little icon next to the apps that have multiple windows open. Now all these new features, the multitasking menu, the shelf, makes for a more clickable or tappable experience rather than the old way of sliding things around. And all this kind of makes you think that it's more geared towards mouse input rather than touch because you can still do everything exactly as you would do on iOS 14. And so building on that, there's some powerful new keyboard shortcuts to potentially manage all this without touching your screen. Yeah, there's a whole new suite of globe key shortcuts like globe up to open the app switcher and then use the arrow keys to select from different windows, globe left and right to switch between recent apps, globe forward slash to engage slide over, globe option left or right to move the slide over window left or right. I mean, I could go on and on and there's like 15 different ones just for multitasking. You go globe edge to go to the home screen, globe C for control center, globe A to show the dock, globe shift A to open the app library. Yeah, it's a lot to remember and I don't think I'll start using all of these just yet, but I guess it's there for the pros. And another nice detail, you get this subtle indication on the triple dot menu, which app is currently active or in focus, so you don't make changes unintentionally. All right, so does all of this really changes multitasking on the iPad? I mean, it does in a way, but then you can still use all the old gestures to put apps in split view, slide over and multi-window. This just makes it more discoverable, easier in a way, and slightly more powerful with that new shelf and keyboard shortcuts. But I still think it's kind of a lot to learn just how everything works. And no, I don't think full on resizable windows are a good idea for the iPad. But this feels like building on something that already needs to be rebuilt from the ground up. Maybe that's just me, but let me know what you think in the comments below. We also got a playlist going on about iOS and iPadOS 15, so check that out for more. Like this video if it was good and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you then.